What's going on Facebook? This is B. Tatum. I'm making this video to give you guys some insight on my experience at a Donald Trump rally. Um, the reason that I wanted to go is because I don't want to believe what other people tell me because sometimes through media, through other people, it can be very uh, disingenuous or you could be talking to or getting a perspective from somebody who is very, very uninformed. Mm -hmm. So I had an opportunity. Donald Trump came to Tucson, Arizona, where I live and uh, came and did a rally here. And I had an opportunity to go, so I went. Uh, some people probably would disagree with that, but, you know, the Lord on my side. So I'm OK with, with going there because I know I'll be all right. Went in there. Very, very shocking. I, I, I wasn't expecting what I saw. I had no idea that I was going to leave that event with the thought process and experience that I obtained. I, I just had no idea. It started from the beginning. Went to the uh, walking in the line, waiting to get in. Uh, saw a couple of people peacefully protesting. They had signs up. You know, it actually gave me an opportunity to read the signs. I looked at them. I took pictures of them. Um, I was able to see their point of view. When you get closer to the door, I couldn't take pictures. I couldn't do video because they were pushing us through because people were verbally violent at the door, yelling, saying F Donald Trump. I mean, being outrageous. Um, very, very uncomfortable feeling. I mean, people were directly yelling at me as if I'm a criminal. And all I'm trying to do is just hear what the man have to say. I, I didn't wear anything supporting Donald Trump. I was very neutral with this black shirt and khakis on. When I got inside, you know, it was peaceful. Initially, the, you know, the shocking thing is, is that, that everybody seemed to be peaceful. There wasn't a lot of hatred and, and, and maliciousness going on and, and lashing out at the protesters. Initially, there was nothing like that. Mm -hmm. And I, I didn't get that impression at all. Um, when... But the, the, thing, the thing that stood out to me was these protesters. I mean, from the door and then some of them snuck inside. And a funny thing that I don't know, the media don't cover this, but Donald Trump actually paid for to rent that facility to make it a private event. Therefore, by law, he reserved the right to keep people out at his discretion. Um, so he's not violating constitutional rights when he was kicking people out. And I can say this point blank that he didn't randomly kick people out. Um, a lot of times it wasn't really him that was even addressing these people um, before he ever came out. They made an announcement and said, you are not to harm protesters. You are not to get in a physical altercation with them, um, that the security staff will escort them out. And that was another thing that I didn't see portrayed. I don't see portrayed in the media is that they gave a disclaimer and said, don't hurt these people. You, you don't need to do this. Um, so moving forward. During the event, I mean, these people were acting a fool. I'm talking about cussing and screaming. You guys seen some pictures. There was somebody wearing a Ku Klux Klan hat saying F Donald Trump, flipping people off. The group that I posted were yelling F Donald Trump in front of these kids. You had families down there. I seen this one lady covering her daughter's ears because these people are just outlandish and out of control. And I'm a police officer and I, and I have been through a lot of dramatic situations. And I have to be honest, I felt very uncomfortable there. I mean, there was a lot of police officers there or whatever, but I personally, I felt uncomfortable. I felt like at any moment with the climate of these protesters, this wasn't the people that was involved in Trump's rally. It was these protesters that at any moment I could get sucker punched by somebody because they're just outrageously screaming and yelling and not really saying anything, but hateful slurs, calling them a racist, calling people a that were involved racists and haters. And the funny thing is these people are the most hateful, evil people that I've ever seen. I could not believe what I saw moving forward. Donald Trump got up and you know, he gained my respect. He didn't say anything hateful against anybody. He didn't say anything prejudice. You know, I didn't hear any of that. I didn't hear any tones of that. I didn't get that perception from the people who were following him. Everybody was just excited for what he had to say. And I think he said a lot of positive things. Um, and I think his character is a lot different than what you would perceive it to be in the media. You know, he spoke about immigration very, very vividly. And he talked about he don't have problems with, with immigration and that he just have a problem with illegal immigration. Um, he talked about building that wall that he so famously talks about. Um, I didn't see anything negative. He didn't talk about Muslims and, and hating Muslim people and stuff like that. I mean, he addressed radical Islam and he made his statement on that. He talked about very bluntly how people are ignorant and not doing the right job in, in, in leadership positions in this country and what he would do to fix it. I was very impressed that he wasn't a crazy 
psychopath like some would say and I kind of was expecting him to be a little more radical than what he what he was presenting himself as and I also expected people to be a lot more aggressive towards these protesters than um than what they than than what they were I mean I didn't see anybody I saw two incidents that happened one a protester was acting a plump fool he goes up the the walkway while they're escorting him out and I don't know if he spit on this guy or hit him but he got his tail kicked and stomped I saw it so he was asking for that one. He saw it to somebody and he lost the battle. Um, that's what happens. So I don't count that against a Trump follower. And who knows? That guy may not even been a Trump follower. He may have just been there like me trying to get more information. And the other thing that I saw was a, it was an older guy and his kid was holding a racist flag saying that Trump was a racist, had all these slurs on it. And the guy took his flag, balled it up, and it wasn't an American flag, it was like a white makeshift flag he got, balled it up and threw it over the over the balcony part. It was the only thing that I saw that I was like, okay, he that guy kinda got kinda acted out of control. But you know what's funny is the media will will, will take a picture of that and hang on to that. When it was a thousand other people that should have been kicking these people's tails because they were they were all in people's faces and everything. It was crazy. Um but they they were restrained and, and and it wasn't violence. The violence was coming from these protesters that they eventually kicked out. Some they couldn't even kick out. They were locking arms and they were yelling probably 60 percent of, of, of Trump's um, of his speech. I mean, he ignored them and he turned around, and addressed them a couple of times. But he, for the most part, ignored them, which is not really portrayed in the media. Um, so that's that was my perception, man. I, 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 I was very, very shocked. That in a, in a disingenuous perception of Donald Trump and, and these followers of being these hateful people, you know, I had no problems with when I was there. I'm an African American man. I had no problems with people um, going against me and trying to hurt me and want to kick me out because I'm not doing nothing. No, nah, these people were acting fools. Some of them were African. Most of them were African Americans acting a fool. I'm talking about cussing and screaming and getting in people's faces acting a fool. That's what these people were doing. I'm talking about tackling people. It was a guy trying to walk up the staircase. They were grabbing his legs. I mean, it was a crap show. I'm surprised. We, I'm surprised that people weren't. I thought at some point it was going to be a full fledged ride because these people were acting so outrageous until you were just thinking that somebody was going to lose their temper and it was going to be a full brawl mm. or like somebody was going to run up on me and just punch me in the head because they're trying to prove a point about Donald Trump. That's how crazy this stuff was. And and I didn't feel safe sometimes. I, I, I was I was a little nervous. I was watching my back. Like, I don't know what these fools are gonna do in here, man. And they were crazy. They didn't have nothing to do with Trump's followers. These, these other people who I was really, really feeling uneasy with, man. I thought I was gonna have to punch a couple people in self-defense. I thought I was gonna have to punch a couple people, honest to God truth. Um, so that's my take on it. I'm very shocked. Uh, I gained I gained a lot of respect for Donald Trump, and I think that if you want to know the truth about stuff, you got to examine. You got to physically show up. Um, you show up to events, and you'll get a perspective of what's really going on, and you don't have to listen to what anybody else says. Um, I wish that the Ku Klux Klan hat guy gets in the media. I wish the guy who got his butt kicked because he spit on somebody or assaulted somebody and lost the fight. I hope he get it. And I hope that there's a picture of this mother covering her kids ears and, and walking them away because these people are yelling F Donald Trump, sticking their fingers up and yelling and screaming Black Lives Matter. I hope that the media captures that. I hope that they capture the disclaimer that these pro these uh, followers are not to assault these people. I hope they capture the disclaimer that that Donald Trump reserved the right to kick these people out because he has fully rented out the venue. And it's a private event. I hope they show all these people at the front door blocking thousands of people from coming in and, 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 and blocking their freedom of speech and freedom of assembly. I hope that the media captures that and, and give it a fresh shake. I don't know what other events were like, but this was an eye opening experience for me. I did not expect these people to be that crazy. This, it was crazy. It was it was crazy in there. And these protesters were extremely crazy. And of course, when they walked them out, they putting their hands up and acting like they're, they're getting drugged or something. These people were re really acting a fool. So, I mean, they were acting up so much. There was people in the crowd yelling at the police to tell them to go do something. 
And you know, these people don't understand that, yeah, the, all the cops run up over there and then they leave this whole bottom part open. I mean, what are you going to do? And you know for a fact they'll be on CNN if they get to the pulling on somebody too hard because they only going to capture the, 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 the second the second half of it. They're not going to capture the first part where the person's spitting and yelling, up, yelling in people's faces. So um, I think the officers did a great job. I mean, phenomenal job by the various people who were there, especially Tucson Police Department did a great job um, at, at maintaining control. There, there was no real serious physical injury other than that guy who got his butt kicked because he started the fighting loss. So that's my take. God bless you guys. I hope you have a, a good, wonderful day.